Edmonton. Tip the puck. Bishop's up the play. Right in his own there. Patrick Sharp scores. Wow, what an adventure for both goaltenders early. And Ben Bishop is down, colliding with Hedman as Sharp gets an empty netter. One that nothing should attend. Pass just behind Kreider. And now Zaboro picks it up for the Bruins. Man, has Kreider been moving here in this game? I don't know why Tuka Rask lost her neck. Yeah, he, why did he go to the bench? <laughs> I'm convinced he must have thought there was a delay penalty. And the bench is like, Tuka, get back. <laughs> They're like, get back. <laughs> Yeah, but a laugh about it after he started to head to the bench <laughs> in a time. Badly. And uh, even... Oh, Darling lost it! There he scores! David Dayarnay! It's a power play goal! And the Rangers have tied it! The goalie misplays it, and the Rangers... Darmia picks it off and clears. Well, Chandler Stevenson, just two shots in his last four. And Hill lost it! And Monaghan scores shorthanded. That's a gift goal for the Canadians on a misplay by Aiden Hill, and Sean Monaghan shorthanded has tied the game. Well, Aiden Hill, no. Fred Redmonds have turned pucks over with that quick pass up the ice. Perlini with a real good chance. Skinner missed play, a tap in. Dylan Larkin, the captain for the Wings. A gift. And it's 3 0 Detroit. There's that aggression again by the Red Wings, and Dylan Larkin with a point to the sky obviously had some personal issues he had to deal with. with it, right at center, draw pass, look out! Oh no! Just talked a little bit earlier about Jason Spencer being that guy that comes up the ice in a little drop pass. Right between both. They'd won five in a row, given away there, but oh they boy. score! Oh boy. A giveaway by Elliott! Wow. Is, is, is there something wrong with that end of the ice? Soderblom, the beneficiary of that one. Wow. Did he in quick? Out to get it. Taken away in front, oh and the Sharks score. Bad exchange behind the nets. And it was left wide open for Dylan Gambrell. 4.37 to go, and that one hurts. Yeah, and one you can't defend. You really can't block. In the trapezoid. Now out in front, score to Dunham! It fumbled off of Colton. And to Dunham spotted it, slam dunk to open the scoring. Hands in front, score! Nick Waugh on the giveaway. And the Golden Knights have struck first tonight. With the puck, Sebastian Ajo gets it back oh, no. from Blackwood and sticks it in. You gotta be kidding me. Mackenzie Blackwood fanned on the clearance attempt, and it's a slam dunk for Ajo, short handed to put the Hurricanes ahead. Well, there was some mistakes in the neutral zone initially. I thought Ajo was gonna walk in all alone, and then the Devils got a break because. And he overskated the puck, never got a shot away. And the Predators, who trailed 3-0 after one period, come back and win in a shootout. 4-3 the final, and an anticlimactic end, to be sure, for the home fans. Well. I back, and it sails wide. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. Bluger, he scores! Teddy Bluger gets the last lap. And Bruce Lakins is hurt, maybe. No, he's just embarrassed. And that's exactly why you don't let the goaltender do that. He did, the same thing happened when we were in Winnipeg, Mirzy. Get the goalie out. Just get out of the net. Let the player do it. He can. Oh, now the other Rice took the net off. It. Rice, Rice tumbled <laughs> over. Go, Bennington's not done, guys. Yeah, he's yapping at the yep. Penguins bench right now. Fans like that. Oh. What is going on here? Takes Let's... the helmet off. Look at this. Got the mullet going. This is old time. Old time hockey, Bobby. This is old school. Right oh, here. This guy. Possibly a little bit of an audition. Oh my goodness! A gun show, and it's a goal and a gift for Kadri. Carrie, let's.
continent with an absolute howler as he tried to play that, and Kadri gets the goal. You've lost a couple of games on the road of a six-game trip. You need something good to happen if you're the Dallas Star. The Jets for their game last night in Colorado, and a bad turnover by Riddick, and Eichel scores! Oh, Riddick came it away to Jack Eichel. He snaps home his second of the night. It's 4 nothing. Like I talked about the release of Jack Eichel, that is in and out of the net in a hurry. Down, lost the skate blade, popped out. <laughs> Tough to play goalie, I guess. I mean, just a, that's the old school butterfly style, right? That, Stay down. That is the goaltender version of a flat tire, <laughs> no doubt about it. This is the best. How that's, do you get to the bench with one skate blade? You know what, though? Better for a goalie <laughs> to do that than just when you see players do it. It's uh, it's not quite as graceful as we just saw. Likely, put out there by Daryl Sutter in anticipation. Giveaway here. Score! Hopkins, 21 seconds in. Boston and those out to play it. Taken away by Strong. They struck. Alexei Lafreniere. Off a great setup by Ryan Strom. Gives the Rangers a 1 0 lead. Two goals and Lafreniere has scored has been because a goaltender has made a miscue. Here's a... We'll take the penalty shot. He is 9 for 19 in his career on the penalty shot and an opportunity now to cut the lead to one. Rogers place fans rise as McDavid moves in against James Reimer. McDavid. Bobbled the puck, and that eliminates the play. And he was getting chirped by the Carolina. It's to the bench. Hintz comes on and picks a pocket. Now shorthanded. Rope hits a breakaway. Hintz scores! Well, Glenn Denning had broken his stick, and that missed shot by Duchesne allows him to get off. There's a puck jack by Rope. Blank hold of the Coyotes catch up right there. Nothing in the tank for Kesselring and Dermott. Take it away to the front. They score, and it's Keller. And who fished it out? Alex Kerfoot. One nothing Coyotes. All that pressure. And the Coyotes come back. That was an air pass by Johnson. And the turnover by the tender. For McDavid with an empty net. Connor McDavid hits the post. McDavid hits the post on the empty net. For the reach of McDavid all the way back. Mike Smith almost played it in the no play zone there. He got caught. The puck just slid far enough that he was able to get it out. That was a oh, oh scores from long range. And Count resided in the most unlikely fashion. Well, how about that sequence? You've got a glorious save on the power play by Markstrom to rob Dreisaitl from making this a two-goal game. McDavid just curling around. By get a penalty for it. A broken stick by Sharp. The net empty for the Chicago Blackhawks. It's coming back. Could it go in? Yes, it's in! A goal! <laughs> Ranta goes to the bench, and it's an own goal. Possession back, and McDavid regroups. Now for Letestu. Letestu wide, steps into a shot. Big rebound! Patrick Laine put it in his own net. A quiet night for the Finnish youngster, but now he heads to the bench. Right on, and Montembeau's got that. There was no whistle. What happened there? I was fooled. Everybody was fooled. The Lightning thought this was a stopped play. It wasn't. Montreal kept playing, and they scored into an empty net. This whole building is stunned. Into the corner. Hagelin's pass off target. All the way down. And they 
they score! With the delayed call coming, the Capitals throw one in their own net. Kalen Addison. Right down the slot. Hawks were not able to cash in. Look out. Ooh, a giveaway and it goes into the net. The Blackhawks put one in their own cage. Let's see. Brodziak just swats away at Seabrook, and the puck goes in off of Duncan Keith. He might jump forward, and they had, I, I believe, 20 turnover. Joshua scores! That's not your fault, Ray. That's Bobrovsky's. <laughs> it's 3 0, and Dakota Joshua has his second of the game. Five. Atkinson fires, scores! Condon waved at it. Cam Atkinson has put the Jackets in front. Well, these guys, this line, I was just going to say, it'd be nice to see these guys get involved and on the board. Well, how about this? Atkinson with a little chip shot. His former teammate with Talbot and Edmonton, the head coach was Todd McClellan. Look out. The Kings come to the line. This puck takes a bounce in the corner. And I believe it was Justin Schultz that's in the corner. Being around the board. Oh! Oh! oh. I would describe this for you, but we all just saw it. The Dukovic looking to bat it away himself. It's an own goal. The pad of Nedeljkovic, wow, what a play, slides to knock it away, a chance for Dallas, and Harley scores. Penguins all out of sorts, and Thomas Harley, the defenseman with his first of the year, and the Stars extend their lead to 3-1. That's Davison on the intercept and the clear, back on D with Meyer. And I like that they, oh, there's a goal, it bounces right by Toscala. Oh, you want to talk about a bad infield. Toscala. Bergeron fans on a pass. Stefan steals and he'll ice it. Oh, at least I thought he was going to. He's loose. Hemsky, he scores. Can you believe what we just saw? It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Patrick Stefan, you should be embarrassed for what you just did. That does What with Miko. Foul is in. Looks to Miko. Save by Riddick. Puck high in the air. And Riddick runs himself into the crossbar. Trying to catch that puck off the glass. Riddick turns and... Puck out of the zone. Not sure why Seth Jones was standing outside the zone there, Jonesy. Yeah, Patrick Kane's thinking the same thing. That's a very short-handed opportunity. We talked about the end of the period. Watching the right part of your screen. Kane gets his puck. Tally. Takes control. Edler tests for it. Oh, it's behind him. It's in. Alex Edler's just scored from center ice on a shot that hit the goalie in the chest, went over his head, and into the Perfect again. And he lost his footing. He just can't buy a goal. <laughs> <laughs> and now he gives him a pat. Oh, I'm not sure if that's going to be. Here he tries to finish along the wall, and there he goes. Elbow. And right into the there by Ablocator and a good show. Oh, oh my goodness. Throw man. Oh, he drilled it in his own net. Miller let the shot go and the Blues put it in their own goal and it's 1-0 Red Wings. Goaltenders make this move a hundred times a night in the NHL. A caught. Oh, wait till you see the fantastic finish. Oh, over you go. Russ wants the puck down the ice. That'll just about do it. Whoa. <laughs> It's the first thing in Montreal fans of it. Wants it up the right side. He likes his play. Tucked behind the defense. Back and score. It's coming in the zone by Yoki Haru. Tuck got a tremendous amount of speed. Jabbed in by Kubelik. Turned over. Wired home. Hoskin in the giveaway. And Dominic Kubelik puts it upstairs. 3-2. Yeah, he's not going to miss that one. He's missed a couple tonight. He's had... 
a couple great chances that have been taken away from Miko by Miko Koska. This time, though, he gets a got a chip away, knocked away, and Ben puts it home. And it is six to nothing. Well, that's certainly not how you draw it up there. And I'm not sure. Price can win the game. Absolute worst things happening on the bench that you just don't see every day. Get a drink of water, Mark. No, it's the <laughs> other way. Green side up. Oh, that was a bad mistake by Mokin. There's Marty hustling off. Oh, it's off the power goal. Marty Brodeur went to retrieve his stick.